Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of surface area. This is standard 8.7b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 14 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a cylinder here, and you see that we've got our diameter across the base. We've got our height. Those are the two dimensions shown. And we need to find the lateral surface area. We need to find which one's closest. So we're going to round to the tenths place there. So how do you find the lateral surface area? Well, if you look on your mathematics chart, you're going to see that there's two different types of surface area. And obviously there's stuff for prisms. We're going to use the cylinder one here because it tells us we're using a cylinder. Uh, so we've got the lateral surface area. And what you're going to get is you're going to get 2 pi r h. So what does that mean? Well, what we want to do is we're looking for the surface area of this curved shape right here, just this curved shape. That's the lateral surface area because it's connecting the two bases, right? So if we wanted the total, which we don't for this problem, uh, we would just do the 2 pi r h, the, that lateral, and then we would just add the two bases, the top and the bottom. But we're just dealing with the lateral in this case. So we want to find the surface area of this curved shape. So this should look familiar. 2 pi r. We've seen that before. That's the circumference. So 2 pi r, or uh, you know that double the radius is just the diameter, so it's pi times diameter. So double the radius is your diameter, which is your 8.4. Uh, we could take half of that to find the radius and then double it back again, but that's going to be kind of silly because that's going to be that pi times diameter. So really, what we're looking for is we're looking for pi times your diameter times your height. And so what does the circumference give us? Well, the circumference is going to give us how far around uh, that cylinder is. Think of it kind of like the perimeter. And then the height, well, that's just going to see how many layers of that circumference you're going to get. So really, you're just multiplying the circumference times the height, and that's going to work. All right, so circumference times the height, but they go ahead and spell it out because we might not have that circumference equation memorized. All right, so let's find the circumference. So I'm going to stick with this pi times diameter just because they've already given us the diameter. And so that is going to be, and this is where we need to use our phones or our calculators or whatever we're using to calculate here. And so we've got, most of us have a pi button on our calculators. If not, you can ins insert 3.14. That'll get you close enough. Times our diameter of 8.4. Right, and that's going to get you about 26.389. That's more digits than we need, but we'll just kind of stick with that. There's more digits after that. So that's our pi times diameter. So then our lateral surface area, let's bring this back. Right, is going to be your pi times diameter times height. So that's 26.389, that's your pi times diameter, times your height of 10.9. And then that's all we got to do. We've got to multiply that by 10.9. And we are going to get... 287.644, and there's more, but that's pretty good. And then we're going to get centimeters squared because we're looking for area. It's a two-dimensional. And so you see 287.6. We're just going to drop that 4 because it's not going to round that up to a 7. So our answer here is going to be G, 287 and 6 tenths square centimeters.